To create a new show in Cablecast, click on Shows. Then from the Shows tab, click New Show. As we can see, the show ID will be generated by Cablecast after saving the show record. This will be the number used by the system to reference the show. If you already have an internal numbering system, enter that in Local ID. Enter the show name. This can be abbreviated as it is only for internal use. The CG title should be a more detailed name of the show as it will be seen on the cable display bulletin and public website. You can link the show to a project. This would be used if the show is part of a series. We will thoroughly cover projects in another lesson. You can choose to exclude the name of the show from the cable display bulletin and public website. This would most commonly be used for short PSAs or commercials. The length is a mandatory field. This will ensure that your AV router will switch to another source after the show ends. Format is also mandatory as it specifies what type of device to use for playback. The queue time will be the amount of space between the first frame of the media and the start of the program. If there is no space, leave it set to zero. If your show is divided into more than one reel of media, click New and enter its length and format. An example might be as follows. You can add as many reels as you need. The event date would be the date the show was created, otherwise it will automatically be set to the date you enter the show record. Select your category, producer, and rating, if any. Then fill in any comments and custom fields you have entered. If you have an SX Video On Demand or SX Live, you might see the following options. If you want to exclude the show from the SX Live, select Live IP Exempt. If you want Cablecast to automatically transcode the show, select On Demand. You can click Add to save the show and keep entering information, or Save to close the show record. After you have saved the show, you can then send it to your show bin, transfer it to another location, duplicate the show, or clear the contents of the show record. When you save it to the show bin, it will be available for instant recall when scheduling programs. Each user has their own bin so it will only contain the shows you select.